Sometimes it takes a second impression and a whole lot of extra effort to really impress gamers. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 ways that games try to win back players. In this list, we're specifically looking at instances where a game, and by extension its creators, went to incredible lengths in order to draw back those players who had lost interest. Our focus isn't on the success or failure of these efforts, but rather on the generosity displayed by these games. Number 10. Free release of the extended cut, Mass Effect 3. And while we still have many challenges ahead of us, we can face them together. To say the concluding chapter of the original Mass Effect trilogy was controversial would be an understatement. Many fans complained of Mass Effect 3 ending on an underwhelming and misguided note, a sentiment that was hammered home repeatedly for the game's developer, Bioware. After some time, Bioware eventually announced their plans to release the extended cut, a free patch aimed at modifying the game's conclusion. It added greater context to the final moments of Mass Effect 3, shed some more light on certain characters' fates, and even factored in more of the player's previous choices. While it didn't please everyone, it showed that Bioware cared at the time. Every world could be home to a different form of life. Number 9. Free Maps and Modes Titanfall 2 Owing to a number of factors, like releasing in the same launch window as EA's other major shooter, Battlefield 1, there was a lot working against the mech combat meets FPS game, Titanfall 2. Nevertheless, Titanfall developer Respawn Entertainment committed to their pre-release promise of not sectioning off downloadable content behind a paywall. From launch onward, Titanfall 2 received multiple updates containing new maps, new weapons, and even a new mode in the form of Frontier Defense. Yet, despite having plenty of opportunities to charge for this additional content, Respawn kept true to their word, quite an admirable display, all told. Number 8. Adding an Offline Mode, SimCity Prior to its launch, the major point of discussion and concern regarding the 2013 reboot of SimCity was the decision to make it an always online title. On release, this would end up being key to the game's struggles. SimCity initially was unplayable for days due to server issues and thus left many players fuming. At first, EA tried to save face by offering players the choice of a free game on Origin, but eventually they caved to demand and patched in an offline mode in 2014. With local save files and the ability to manage a multi-city setup, it's certainly an improvement over the original state of affairs. Number 7. Ditching the Auction House for Loot 2.0 Diablo 3 So as you saw, we're going to be shutting down the Diablo auction houses. When we originally set up the auction house, this was supposed to be a safe and convenient way for you to trade items. Blizzard Entertainment's long ingestation return to the Diablo series was met with wide praise during its May 2012 release, though the good times were tempered somewhat by a number of significant issues. Among the more pressing problems was the auction house, which divided the fanbase over its inclusion of real money spending for in-game loot. Many found the concept of purchasing game items once found naturally in the world undermined and devalued the core Diablo experience. A month before the launch of the expansion Reaper of Souls, Blizzard opted to release a patch that removed the auction house in favor of an improved loot system. Called Loot 2.0, it would aim to provide players with fewer items while increasing their overall quality. The gameplay experience of Diablo makes sure that finding items in-game is the best place to find those items. Number 6. Introducing the new game enhancements. Star Wars Galaxies. Fans worldwide have always enjoyed becoming a part of the adventure. But what if you could turn on your PC, connect to the internet, and completely immerse yourself in an online Star Wars universe? Many Star Wars fans have dreamed of being a part of this universe, and while Star Wars Galaxies in its base form offered an opportunity to do so, players noticed that the path to become a Jedi was an extremely time-consuming one. Thus, in 2005, Sony Online introduced major changes in the form of the new game enhancements. From making combat real-time to reworking the Jedi path as a selectable profession from the start. These changes were specifically designed to make galaxies more inviting to new players. 
but it's a decision that ultimately backfired as many day one players felt like hundreds of hours of progression had been for naught and demanded refunds en masse. Sadly, the game never recovered from the backlash and it was shut down in 2011. Everything you need to fulfill your ultimate Star Wars fantasy is now together in one package. Number 5. New Pokemon, New Events, Rework Tracking, and Gyms. Pokemon Go. While this mobile Pokemon game may have made an immediate cultural impact, it became clear weeks later that Pokemon Go was dropping players quickly. Players found the content was sorely lacking, the tracking system was too vague, and the gyms encouraged a pay-to-win system. Then came the updates. Pokemon from later generations were integrated, special events like Community Days offered players easier chances to capture specific and or shiny Pokemon, and tracking Pokemon was made easier by centralizing spawn points around Pokestops. Gyms were also redesigned to earn coins easier than ever before. And the updates haven't stopped since then. Most recently, Team Rocket battles were added, making the game feel like a completely different title than when we had it in 2016. Number 4. Free month of Xbox Live Extra Games Halo The Master Chief Collection Finishing the fight took a lot longer than anticipated, that's for sure. The Master Chief Collection promised to take the first four main series entries and present them with greater polish than before, especially Halo 2 which got a major graphical remake. This turned out to be partially true. The games looked far more impressive, but online matchmaking was riddled with bugs and nigh unplayable at launch. In recognition of the collection's troubled state, 343 offered those who'd purchased it before December 19, 2014 several gifts as part of a wider apology. Among said gifts were a month's subscription to Xbox Live Gold and a remastered version of Halo 3 ODST. Though in 2019, the collection received Halo Reach alongside a PC port. Number 3. Reworking player progression and lots of free updates. Star Wars Battlefront 2. The tale of Battlefront 2's infamous loot box debacle has been heavily ingrained in gamers' minds, and DICE has continued to go all out in updating the game with free updates just to make up for that disaster. The first much needed change came with a heavily reworked progression system. Star cards now can only be earned through play, with microtransactions limited to purchasable character skins and the crates containing purely cosmetic items. But DICE hasn't stopped there, as the game has also received content updates focusing on the Clone Wars era, as well as tie-in content coinciding with Solo and the Rise of Skywalker films. Credit where it's due, the fact that EA and DICE have provided this much free support to a game heavily marred by its launch controversy deserves to be commended. Number 2. Multiple Free Expansions – No Man's Sky Speaking of fixing games heavily marred, here's another example. The 2016 procedurally generated space exploration game, No Man's Sky, hit store shelves and, despite plenty of optimistic press in the lead-up, it became highly divisive among fans due to a laundry list of unfulfilled promises. Hello Games opted not to simply let things sit unresolved, however, and instead worked to fulfill their promises through free updates. Expansions such as the Foundation and Pathfinder updates brought in mechanics like base building and land vehicles. But it was the next update that ultimately ended up being the game's redemption, thanks to the inclusion of multiplayer, third-person camera support, and freighters to explore the galaxy much easier. Hello Games is still updating the game, with inclusions so extensive they would need their own list. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Remaking the whole freaking game – Final Fantasy XIV While every other game on this list saw fixes through incremental updates and expansions, those feats pale in comparison to what Square Enix did to save Final Fantasy XIV. When the game first launched in 2010, it was widely panned by both critics and fans due to a clunky MMO interface and a plethora of performance issues. 
but rather than slowly fix the game over time, Square Enix made the unprecedented decision to completely replace the development team and start it again from scratch. And in 2013, the game was relaunched as Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn. This risky fix paid off though, and the game has continued to receive fine polished expansions, with 2019's Shadowbringers in particular being released to widespread critical acclaim. Now that's sticking to your guns. In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.